Is that a bolt you I see? We have Den with the sword against. Yep, that's a bolt you I see. Kurumi with the bolt you. Pina Colada forever, he says. So, Swordcraft is still pretty good. We just don't have the world. Today is your lucky day, my friend. Those are power plays from Kurumi. Early show that demon. Keeping nothing but the good stuff in his hand. Like, an this is what I call the good stuff chat. <laughs> Is there for Ernst? Power play was hype? Yeah, Ernst is, you know. <laughs> okay, gonna crystallize the roulette vampire, which I think is an excellent play. Let's take it easy. We'll help him get to the Boltio. He's going first as well. Uh, that early game might be fine. Like, not that is great on 6, but it could be a fine 4 drop as well. We gotta ban the blood because Boltio is too spooky. <laughs> Okay, permafrost picks up a Rampiel, a chef. I wonder if he wants to play the chef now or just hold it for the you know actual heal. A lot of options here already for Kurumi's side, but he's got a good curve, 100 percent Bolteo doesn't scare. Well, you played against Alfie who didn't have the Bolteo, right? I mean those games are gonna happen. Okay, instead of going for Nana, we're gonna see the Aliaska. I will say that Sword is good against Bolter because both the Nana and the Aliaska, like, those are two excellent answers to pretty much any Boltio boards. When I played a bunch of Boltio, you know, those were always cards that I never wanted to see. They're gonna go with the Red Cap because, you know, Chef is kind of bad against the Aliaska. I mean, honestly, Alias has a 6 6 with nothing on the board. Still pretty strong. Now, Kurumi does get the Roulette uh, Demon or Vampire. Is it a Vampire or a Demon? Roulette Vampire next turn, which isn't bad. And this is a good amount of stats on the board. Plus, he does have the Voltion Curve. Yeah, I think it is favor for Sword for sure. Here's the point Volter is draw what you need. <laughs> You're gonna see the Nod Nod right now. He can still just hold on to the spell, still be used to clear the bolt to the next turn, and not not herself as a full clear. Yeah, Den's got a good hand. Okay, there's the roulette. Six play points for Kurumi, getting close to the bolt to I like playing the aloof guy here, just to set up card draw for later. That is what Kurumi's gonna do. Does he want to use the axe? He's gonna hold it. Noir in the chat. How's it going, Noir? Okay, what is the play for Den? I mean, Reinhardt, you have to manually evo it, which doesn't feel great. It looks like Den has really good late game, but maybe this is a bit of an awkward mid game. Okay, Shield Phalanx boots. That feels okay. I guess he's okay not overextending here because, you know, whatever you play on this turn is gonna get Boltioed anyway, right? So might as well not even commit anything to the board. Now, Kurumi can pre evo if he wants to have his Bane survive. And he doesn't want to do that because this way you get two followers of the Boltio. Let's see what Kurumi gets Bloodbinder and a Lucifer. Now, Lucifer has protection against the, uh, the weapon. And there's not enough followers for Tyrant's Order to work, so it's actually not bad at all. I was Bloodbinder. Hey, you gotta get those two drops out of the deck. Okay, it looks like he's gonna just weapon. Lucifer is going to live though. We'll see what Kurumi does. He has Chef in hand. Still has the axe for potential damage. And the Bolter Lure effect. Ooh, Shiva. Athena. Oh man, I love all these cards. These are good Shadowers cards. Shiva? Shiva is 4 damage right now. Lucifer goes face for 10 if he wanted to evil, which he's not going to. He has a Razor Claw as well, that's more face damage. Okay, go face for 7. So this way he only gets one follower. Okay, he's gonna chef. He knows there is a Tyrant's Order though. So... You know, well, by having 4 followers... I guess it's always going to be able to turn toward the Lucifer away, right? I mean, he did get to go face in a turn, and maybe that's good enough. 
Yeah, if he can have less than three followers, he would be good, but because Voltu always summons things, right? If there's no space, he gets the other one. Okay, gonna see another Aliaska. Except this weapon should be way cheaper. I don't think that it costs two play points, though. There's no way. It's still at four. You can see the mirror image for full clear. Okay, um, now what does Kurumi get? Blood Pact. You see, he clears both, and then you can just end. He's getting close to lethal. Also, he gets Shiva healed this turn, which is definitely nice for him. Gonna go to 15. Okay, he is gonna Blood Pact. You know, he drew low drop, which is good. You don't want to see those getting out of the Yusuke. I mean, the Voltu effect, so that's probably pretty good for him. He gets a Cobra and a Boom Devil, plus the Shiva heal. Now, <laughs> Den does have the weapon. Weapon already clears two of these guys for free. And then Reinhardt gets to clear the Yusuke and get the heal. And this is why Swordcraft does well against the Boltio. Yeah, it's just sorted out the world. What's the matter? Gonna get a lot of heal out of that. Go all the way up to 13. I believe Kurumi has less play points this turn, only 8. The weapon is gonna do... Well, Eo's pretty good, right? That's an excellent Union Burst. And what else? Takes 4. I mean, he's getting close to dying. Okay, oh, he wants to heal you from the crabs, though. I like that. Gets six life back. That's actually really, really strong. He gets only one follower, but he gets a Shiva effect, and he has four damage from Shiva next turn. Okay, those are solid plays. I like those plays. Now, Dan has the Wildcat activated, and Reinhardt. Like, Reinhardt just... Man, some free heal, right? Okay... Gonna get the Ariat from the Amelia. The Luffy should definitely be at 5 heals by now. Maybe he looks to set up a Kagamitsu plus Cat next turn. This is Shadowers, yeah. I don't know if the Hasan can carry, man. Plus, then heal all the way up to 18, right? Now, is there potential for a Athena carry? These are still strong followers, honestly. Still has Bane on this. I guess he is going to uh, Kagamitsu the Eo. Okay, so there's 4 damage from Shiva this turn. Oh, a Gabriel. Is Gabriel lethal? No, no way, right? It's 4 plus 7. Plus 4 again. It's close. It's close. Man, I like Gabriel. I also like Athena though. Athena is so sick. Right? Is that not a crazy good Athena? Or is he gonna just Gabriel? Oh, he's going for... Wait, does this work again? Is this once per turn? It is once per turn. If he Gabriels this, he gets more heals. And he's going for it! Only two life, but hey, that's, that's two life. Okay, so... Kurumi sets up next turn lethal, basically. He goes to 17 and he still has two wards left over. But there is a Kagamitsu, and there is a cat, and the Amelia is left up on the board. So the question is, is there lethal for Den? I don't think so, right? There's no way. Because if you kill this, it also heals. So I don't think there's lethal. Oh man, this is a hype game. This is such a hype game, chat. I think this has been the best game we've seen so far. This is exciting. Uh, now, Den can't clear. He's got a red, not not. He gets some life back. Got Reinhardt's Bunny Baron. Oh, man. We're going real back and forth here. I don't think so, Noir. I really think Sword is still favored. They just have so much hard removal. It's so good at answering the, the boards that Volta makes. Is this a YouTuber? I don't know if YouTube would like these, maybe. I didn't think about that, to be honest. Okay, Kurumi goes back to 19. I mean, how to survive? That's definitely gotta be worth something, right? Okay, so he gets healed right this turn, right? Oh man, if there wasn't the ward, 
Because this gets the... Actually, is that lethal? No, it's not, right? Actually, wait. This gives you... Three play points back. So it costs six. That means that he can play that. And then he can't deal with the air yet. Because the strike is one damage off, right? Oh, man. He's basically so close to lethal. He is gonna for the Berserker. Or your face. Oh wait, it is lethal! Because you give the axe to the girl, and then he gets to go phase. Wow, Kurumi with the power plays! Let's go, dude! Holy shit, that was sick! Kurumi! Not bad, not bad. Dude, let's go, Kurumi! Okay, how will then the current Penguin King respond? You're crumpy in the chat. Man, that was a sick game. That was a great game of Shadowers. Okay. You're saying Den Miss Lethal? I'd have to look it up. What was the Den Lethal? I know he had a cat and a cat so There was a lot of heal wards on the side of Kurumi. I'm not sure. Yo, Honkers in the chat. How's it going, Honkers? Yeah, this is getting hyped, though. That game was hype. Yeah, if he had Lethal, I didn't see it either. Damn, that game was hype. Alright, so Kurumi is up one game. And now we'll see the forest from then. Life Banquet Forest. Okay, Kurumi has the Young Sword, which is probably not too crazy. Yeah, then what's happening in the forest? But so far, we've seen forest lose time and time again. So we'll see what then can show us. I'm here, uh, this like is Den, who is the current mode. Penguin King, against Kurumi, who. Did get top 8 in the past. Okay. Early Kokoro with the buff 2 3, pretty strong. But am I looking at a Fields Amelia Gelt Man? A lot of Gelts? That is a lot of Gelts. Although this is not a Gelt, this is an Outlaw Gunner, who is honestly a pretty sweet card. It just doesn't get to shine the current. You know, actual sword list, but in this format, seems good enough. All right, troops, get ready for war. Rush on. Okay, so just gonna be another Gelt, the Gelt army. Okay, so Den does have the Ramiel, which he was hyping up before, and I feel like it is gonna be pretty good. Instrumental, there I say, in setting up a really hype Lux's turn. Outlaw Gunner and Reinhardt have been fringe sword cards, yeah, but they're good though, right? Like, they're both pretty great. Okay, so he gets ramp, and he ends with a zero cost great tree in hand. We'll see how much he can get out of the locks in this turn. If he chooses it, it's in a manual evil on the Reinhardt. Still pretty good though. Goes back to a 6 6. Geld pushes 3 face damage. No need to respect the world because the world is banned in this format. Uh, have a good night, Lilana. Good luck in your rounds tomorrow. Okay, let's see that Lox's chat. What do we got? Zero cost Great Tree. I mean, he didn't have like any other vehicle set up. Is the Great Tree is good enough to set up a good Lox's? Okay, Cactus Cowboy is really good, right? Surely that's one of the things he wanted to see. Maybe we're also gonna see a good Shamu Shammy. Yeah. Oh, he's going for the Wolf Rod. Okay. So that's a beefy well, Wolf Rod. Well, this is our home, right? Wolf Rod does have the extra plus two plus two in his Evo if he wants it. Which does not seem bad at all. Yeah, like this is looking like a much better Lux's turn. Let's well, see how much he can do out of it though. Well, okay, Cactus so Cowboy. Yeah, Damn Shammy. So that one gets all the effects. Gets the Evo, generates both cards, and they both cost one play point. Plus, the Evo Wolf Rod gets the plus two plus two. So it comes on 11 9, which is extra thick. So, okay, with Lux, he got to fully clear the board, generate, you know, nice cards in hand, his own board, and push face damage. And that. That seems game win. Although, Nod Nod is showing up to the party. And she's got a pretty good spell, some cubes. That was a good turn, yeah. And a Tyrant's Order. Definitely the Wolf Rod. 
And probably the Luxus as well. I mean, that is a full clear for the side of Kurumi, so... As strong as that turn was, we'll see if it's good enough. Wait, why didn't he clear... I guess he just it's still... It's still a clear anyway, right? It doesn't actually matter. Okay, so... Then does have the Sukuna follow-up. Which may be enough, right? Maybe it's enough damage. Kobo Sukunas. Then again, Kurumi has those Ariettes. Although he definitely doesn't have enough heals just yet. He's gotta get those Evos up. Oh yeah, Wolfrock can be destroyed by the cube. So his play was actually the correct play, yes. Okay, 7 damage from Sukuna. I like that. That's that's good solid face damage. Kagamitsu. Now Liaska, the classic perhaps. How many evils does he have? Adlock Gunner summons a bike or the car, which is pretty good as a 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Yeah, his play was correct. He, he had the, the correct order for sure. My play would have been wrong. He's currently only evil twice. He's really got to get those evils up. Cognizant is a way to do that for sure. Yeah, I think he needs to, like, he realized he needs to get to 5 evils ASAP. Because Ariad is how he wins this, 100%, right? Like, Den doesn't have a ton of cards in hand, but he still has some card draw, and he might draw other card draws as well. Yeah, I like Kagamitsu as well. Well, he gets to pick up the weapon, even if it is kind of expensive. Perfectionary is card draw. Does he just start with a Sukuna or what? The Shamu spells, not amazing yet, but they're not bad. Okay, that is pretty good card draw. Maybe it gives Dan enough fuel to close out the game. Ooh, another Luxus. Okay, I wonder if, like, after the first Luxus, can he still set up something great? I mean, he has, you know, two respites. That seems pretty good. Like, do you just look at it now, or do you, do, like, double respite and then set up a crazy Luxus turn next turn? So, gonna, it's six damage to the face, though. Seems pretty good. And Dan still has an evil after all that. But Kagamitsu is like, ah, oh, the battlefield. And Ariad, I think, needs one more heal. I mean, one more Evo. So we could, for example, play the Gunner or the Ramiel, Evo them, and then get some Ariad. Uh, the Cat is not active yet. Cat needs three more Fogs destroyed. Winter final, what's up, dude? Yeah, I wonder if Sam is the kind of might have been better, but it is good pressure. Like, he's definitely keeping up the pressure. Okay, Adlock Gunner. Going for the bike. He is gonna evil. The Adlock Gunner is predicted. And, uh, pretty sure we're seeing at least one area. It'd just be a little bit too spooky otherwise. Goes to nine. Can even play a Ramiel for an additional ward for safety. And he can let the Kagmitsu, you know, be safe behind wards. Protect the area. He has another one as well. So how does then respond? Okay, gonna start with the Loxus. And then let's just get the party started, right? Let's see how much he can do. It's going to depend on what he draws off the top. Shamu Shammy is probably pretty good, although now there's a bunch of wards in the way, right? Gonna make it hard for him to be able to go face. This is our home. Right. Okay, this another home, one. Right. This is our home, right, chat? This is still kind of awkward, though. The Shamu Shammy spells, I mean... I guess with enough play points... This is our home, right? Like, it only does two damage, and this one lowers their attack. But if you lower Kagamitsu's attack, you can attack again and get attack back, right? So... <laughs> It's a little awkward. He does have an Evo still, though. That's an Evo, it's low blader, sir. <laughs> okay, still has a lot of play points. Evo. Gonna gaze. Gaze into the light. And the Ariette. Run out of time. This is Cray, chat. This is Cray, though. Gotta make a play. The fact that you can't hit the Ramiel with a spell makes it so annoying. But he can trade off and then answer Kagamitsu if he has enough time. Oh, he's going face. I like it. Who needs to answer Kagamitsu if you can just go face? 
Is there lethal then for Kurumi? I don't think so, right? Okay, so we're seeing another area. Free Ali Evo. I believe the weapon should be playable now. And he can still just hold the cat for next turn. Plus, Cognitz is gonna get the uh, stats anyway. I believe that with a 5 health ward and 8 life to his name. This is looking pretty good for Kurumi now. I respect Dent's play to go face. But the second area is gonna do it, and just like that, Kurumi takes down the current panda ki penguin king. 2 0. Oh. Yo, clappy clap. Kurumi with the power plays. Shout out to Den as well. I'm sure he will bounce back. But yo, let's go. Kurumi. Clappy clap. You are kidding me. 